Welcome back to Corey Reese Photography's training series. In today's episode, I will show you how to use your Canon camera and your Android tablet or device as a wireless monitor. You don't want to miss it. Welcome to Corey Reese Photography training sessions. In a very short three years as a full-time photographer and cinematographer, my work has been published in magazines to billboards. I've served as a director of photography for commercials to feature film. Whether your interest is digital photography or HD video, my goal is to make sure you have creative control over the outcome of the project, one shoot at a time. Let's create some magic. I'm sure you're asking yourself, how did I connect my tablet as a wireless monitor for my camera? Well, no worries. I'm here to show you exactly what needs to happen in order for it to work for you. First, let me explain what's actually really happening in order for my tablet to show what my camera is seeing from a wireless standpoint. My tablet is actually connected remotely to my laptop. So what I mean by that, and if, if you look here, if I click on my tablet, You see it starts to play on both devices. If I double click here, it takes it from full screen and pretty much everything that I can do on my laptop, I can control it from my tablet being connected remotely. So with that comes great control because the application that I found to remote into the PC, not only can you connect to your device from anywhere, even outside of your network, it allows you to play back audio and video um, close to real time from the internet connection, which is awesome. Because most remote application that I've seen, um, even if you can connect to your PC, if you try to play back video and things of that nature, it doesn't play back video. Or if it does, it's very slow and, and pretty much unusable. So this application is, is, is miles ahead of the rest as it relates to that. First thing first is the application called Splashtop HD and their website is splashtop.com as you can see here and basically once you get to the site all you need to do is click get streamer so you go ahead and click that for mac or pc it'll go ahead and download the files that you need in order for this to work for you to remote into your pc once that file downloads you'll see this dialog box where you will have to create an account which basically you put your username, uh, password, and all the things like that, and go ahead and sign in. From there, you can just close this out, and this application actually runs in the background. Okay, next you wanna make sure you have the Canon Utilities actually installed, which comes with the Zoom browser, the digital uh, photo professional, as well as the EOS uh, utility. So what you're gonna use is this particular one here. Once it's actually installed, go ahead and click on it. And once you have your camera hooked up, you will see this option here, camera setting slash remote shooting. You click on that. From here, we're gonna send our camera to live view mode. Press start on the camera. You will see this live view mode actually come uh, from grayed out and you can actually press it at this point. So go ahead and click on it. So now we're actually seeing what the camera is seeing at this point. Okay, so now you can leave the computer at this time and go over to your tablet. So when we're at our tablet, you wanna go ahead and go to the market here. Do a quick search, Splash Top HD. And once it come up, you're gonna download and install the Splash Top 2 HD. So go ahead and click on it and install it if you don't have it already. Once it's actually installed, you'll go ahead and click open. I've actually already put my account information, so that information will be the same information that you enter on a computer. And once you sync it up with your login, you will see the computers that you have signed in or you have that same software downloaded. So you can use this for multiple computers if you wanted to remote into them. But this particular one um, is showing my laptop there. So I'll go ahead and click the laptop and go ahead and hit continue and there you go so i'll let you see if i do move that around it is live and here is the camera there and back to the screen of the nexus and there you have it 
Okay, that concludes this episode. I hope you found this information helpful. Make sure you click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I will answer them as soon as I can. All right, signing out. Boy Reese Photography. See you next time.